what's going on everyone design coma here welcome back and the game player watching is me playing some black ops 3 so what's up for today's video well I kind of want to talk about innovation it's it's something that's been kind of going in my head over the last week or so ever since the trailer released for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and it's really got me looking at the past and the reason I want to kind of touch on this is it's just really got me thinking about a lot of things that require innovation that need change and this video is probably going to be a little bit lengthy I really hope you kind of stick with it and maybe you'll get something from it maybe you won't but it's really something that I've been thinking about ever since that trailer released and the amount of dislike it has gotten it really made me think about creativity innovation change and all of those kinds of things that are required for certain things in order for them to progress and continue and we as consumers really need to have that creativity that innovation and those people that are thinkers and can give us the change and sometimes we may not like the change and sometimes we're gonna love it but that's the whole point of it if we don't take those chances in changing something and giving it that innovation it may just die so I'm gonna go back a little bit and talk about the video game crash of 1983 so some people may not be aware of this maybe some don't uh, like the younger gamers out there they, they may not know much about the the 1983 video game crash or or if there ever was a video game crash but this is a time when video games were just dead okay and basically from 83 to 85 revenues were up to about 3.2 billion dollars in 83 and then it just fell to like 100 million by 85 and the reason for this is there just wasn't really any change going on there wasn't any innovation happening okay and eventually things turned around at some point where we got the Xbox we got the PlayStation and those are the consoles and some other things that came out is what really brought games back into the consumers back to consumers basically and it really sparked video games all over again and if it wasn't for that if it wasn't for Sony taking that chance and breaking away and going off on their own and bringing out the PlayStation if it wasn't for Xbox coming out even though the PlayStation was really popular Microsoft comes out with the Xbox and then later on after the Xbox releases they bring Xbox Live which allows people to come into the community and and play together it gave us an online service to play together and if it wasn't for those things if it wasn't for the innovation there where would we be now if if computers never changed if they just kind of stayed stagnant as at where they were even though you, you can arguably say that computers were going to evolve inevitably which is probably true there, there's no doubt it probably would have happened regardless but if you really think about it if we didn't allow for that change or for people to innovate then it would just be the same we would still have the same stupid computers that you know Commodore 64s or whatever cell phones if cell phones never changed we'd still have these either giant brick phones and or, or everybody'd still be walking around with flip phones and some people still use flip phones but if something didn't change with cell phones it was it was like a, a dying market and then we then we got smartphones Okay, maybe some people don't re remember pagers. I know there's a lot of people out there that do remember pagers, but if we didn't move into the smartphone, cell phones would just be the same as they always were. We wouldn't have the camera phones. We wouldn't have the iPhones. We wouldn't have Android. It would just all be whatever phones that were coming out from Motorola. <laughs> and another thing that we can look at is 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 chefs okay cooks people who cook if we don't allow for cooks to innovate and make change and have creativity in the food they make then we're kind of stuck with the same old same old it's just gonna be bland it's gonna be the same stuff all the time so now I'm gonna get into video games themselves I, I really want to get into this part 
of the topic because this is really where the focus is. So when it comes to the video games, I came across this uh, this this page. It was really interesting. It it kind of it kind of hit things on the nail. It, it gives you 10 reasons the video game industry is heading for another crash. Now, there's a lot of, obviously there's a lot in there. There's 10 reasons, but I, I really want to focus on one. And it's number six. I'll have a link in the description for this. It's called, innovation is either non-existent or terrible. And what they say is, is when it comes to games, Activision has been releasing the same FPS for over 10 years. Okay, this is this is Call of Duty. This is what we're talking about here. Uh, the Halo, Uncharted, Assassin's Creed franchises have been doing the same thing as well. And when they do innovate, this is where it kind of hits the nail in the coffin. When they do innovate, most people hate it. Now, here's the thing. When we're asking for innovation, when we're asking for change, and this happened with Call of Duty, we were getting a little bit tired of the World War II era. Not that it wasn't great, not that it wasn't fun to play, it's just we were kind of getting bored of it. We were willing to play it, we were willing to check it out, but then when we do, it kind of comes down to, wow, this is just the same thing. There's really not much difference here. It's kind of boring. It's okay. I'll score it a you know, I'll give it an eight out of ten, or whatever the number scale may be, or if you're using stars, or however it might be. And that's that's kind of where things come together. When we ask for the innovation, and we get the innovation, and we get the change, we may not like it at first. We may not like what we see. Like we're not. A lot of us aren't liking what we're seeing in the trailer for Infinite Warfare, but we don't even really know much about it yet. We haven't seen the multiplayer yet, and we're kind of just judging things way before we even know anything about it. And I can understand where everybody is, is upset because we're really wanting boots on the ground. Well, the, the thing is, is we... <laughs> We were complaining about the same stuff, and there's only so much change you can put into a game. There's so when you when you talk about innovating a video game, you need to take some of the basic aspects of the game. That is the stuff that's really the same all the time, like boots on the ground, for example, and tweak it. Give it something different. Make something new out of it. Titanfall did the same thing. They took boots off the ground and you can almost compare Titanfall and Black Ops 3. Those are pretty close to each other because they both have really the, the same mechanics. It's a little bit of boost jumping, it's some wall running, which is kind of cool, and things like that. But again, it comes down to the fact that we as gamers, we as the community, need to allow for these game companies and these developers to have the room for innovation and change. And creativity if we're not allowing the game developers to express their creativity or to give us that creativity they're thinking about or trying then where where are games going to end up the video games are just going to end up being right down to the point where it's just nothing but a lot of the same so i'm really kind of urging everybody to to start thinking about this to start thinking about you know maybe i need to give this a chance at least give it a a three percent chance and i'm not somebody who is big in youtube or big with any of the game companies and things like that but i am passionate about video games i love video games i've grown up with video games since pong uh, uh, you know uh, atari and all of that those were the things that got me into games because they were just cool interesting and really just really fun to play the arcades and and galaga and everything i mean all of those games is what got me into games and when things kind of got stagnant games for me were kind of on the back burner for a while because there was just no change no innovation nothing was changing and then it finally did Xbox Live came along. My friend, Sacred Havoc, got me into Xbox 360. It lit the spark again. The fire was there again. And it's all because of that innovation. It's all because of that change. And it's all because of the fact that these people took a chance on something 
that may have just blown up in their face and gave us the change, gave us something new, something fresh. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, favorite, subscribe, and really share this everywhere because I can tell you right now, if we don't allow for these developers to, to be creative and all we do is constantly bash them and complain, they're really just gonna look for something else to do. They're programmers, they can honestly do anything in the programming world they don't have to stick with games developers the people that do the art they don't have to stick with video games they can seriously move on and do something else in terms of their art and their talents and their skills but we need to give them the room for creativity and we can't just constantly bash and hate all the time now I'm not saying we don't have the right to express our opinions because we do at the same time we have to give them the room to be creative and either enjoy it or not enjoy it. And that's really the risk they take. That's what creativity and innovation is all about. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys in the next one.